Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. <laughs> the rooster doesn't chase us to hurt us. He chases us. He comes after us because he thinks we have treats. Which is why <laughs> all the chickens are here. Do you guys remember recently? I, just, I think I showed you guys recently this little hen was, was molting. And now she looks all cute again. Anyway, these are our chickens. <laughs> Welcome to the farm. If you come here, you'll be greeted by chickens. <laughs> these ones two of our little silkies over there but I noticed Willow's in the wrong field how did that door not get closed I left them in there because I'm cutting the other grass the weeds and I want them to eat the grass that's in there There's lots of good grass in there yeah but we're trying to grow it for next year yeah all right I've got to reseed it all anyways sometimes I see comments about this weekend, this weekend probably all will be closed yeah this weekend you're closing off all the fields yeah it'll just be hay time so um sometimes you see comments about i saw one yesterday specifically about how people will uh, have winter fields so that their horses always have grass they like figure it out do whatever to make sure that they have like a winter field we our horses can't have a winter field because it is all covered with snow and ice we are under snow and ice it's been really fascinating hearing about how every place else does it differently though and just like when we first started our channel, we would get so many comments about crazy things. Like people would say things to us and we'd be like, that doesn't even make sense to me. And it would be from different, different disciplines. I'm just realizing this now. So people once told me like, you need to talk to the judge after and, um, well, get, the judge and get like advice and see where you went wrong. And I was thinking like, nobody talks to the judge here she's like sequestered away in a little tiny booth or a box and if you talk to the judge it's very rare like you don't don't even you're so far separated from the judge but in the western world the judges actually come up to you and explain what you've done wrong and they talk to you and that is amazing but for the longest time i was like what are these people talking about but yeah it's so fascinating learning about different areas and how everything is so different and I wish we lived in an area where we could rig it so that our horses always had a winter field to be in that had grass like that would just even if we had to supplement with hay still but no not in Canada we are not where we live in Canada once it snows there's no grass so <laughs> yeah but in other countries have a winter yeah in, in Canada you can't have a winter no, yeah, yeah, you can't have that here. We can't have that here. It's unfortunate. But anyway, happy Saturday it is Saturday shopping. There's never a bad Saturday if you spend your whole day shopping or at least part of your day shopping. So that's where we're headed. I'll give you guys one reason while we're just sitting in the truck. Anybody guess? Put your, put your guesses in the comments. That's what I want you to do. Put your guesses in the comments why you think we are sitting in the truck. You just I did, don't know if it was bad because the lighting's bad. You just did your makeup in the truck? Oh. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we are taking back this shirt. We actually did buy a shirt at the tax store the other day. It's like just a Western shirt, looks like this. With a collar, it was uh, $60 Wrangler. And we're taking it back, Sophie didn't use it for her show. We are gonna invest if she continues. Are you continuing in Western? Yeah. yeah. Soon we are going to the Royal Winter Fair, which is the hub of all things horse so we will be able to have access to everything we're gonna get her a shirt if we don't get her a really nice shirt we're going to invest in a homemade custom one um, I found somebody that makes custom ones in our area so I'm gonna either get her a custom one or we're gonna find one at the Royal Winter Fair as well as custom. yeah custom or as well she's gonna get a belt we're just gonna get everything that we need at the Royal Winter Fair this year we are coming up on a Halloween horse show and we are trying to figure out what we're going to be and what our horses are going to be. We need the poo. <laughs> nope, that won't fit you. Oh, it's the lion. Honey would be a cute lion. So, like, you could buy this something from here and you could adjust it. Like, that would fit, honey. Oh my gosh. And that's her personality, too. That is such her personality. Oh my gosh. That's adorable. That is adorable. <laughs> Gabby wants to be an alien. Oh my god, I love that. I love it. I think you should dress her up to be a dragon. Because honestly, you could put this on her head, like a hat. And then the cape, and then you could cut the tail off. And put the tail just on her tail. That's adorable. One of the things on our list to buy 
was a little cat tree. So she's we scared. got one for Anya. She can hide in here. Did Ellie go on it? I put her up there, she's too big. Anyways, this is her new little cat tree. It has like Kitty. a top and a bottom Come here. and a little house. She's a little scared. And some feathers. Don't, you can't. What do you think, little Anya? She's nervous right now because everybody's surrounded her. Surrounding her, look. Like everybody's here. Kitty. Oh. Kitty. <laughs> she found a fly. Move, I want Gabby's trying to feed Everybody? her in it. She's trying it now. Mm -hmm. Let her have. So uh, today we were talking about whether she's going to become a barn cat or a house cat, cat. And I just, I don't know. I just don't see her becoming a barn cat. <laughs> Gabby agrees. <laughs> Ellie's like, I'll find you up there. But anyway, she can get up there and get away from the dogs now. She can see out the window, catch birds or watch birds. What do you think? She's staring at a fly. Yeah. Anyway, she's still tiny for it. Sadly, today is not fit for man or beast. Why you ask? Because the farmers have spread pig fertilizer all over their land surrounding us. And it is disgusting, you guys. Like, I almost feel sick to my stomach. Even in the house it stinks. Uh-oh. Ellie, run! Don't just stand there. <laughs> oh my gosh. The goats have clearly taken over the hay pancake. <laughs> I love that everywhere we go, there's a lineup of animals to greet us. They're all depressed from the smell. <laughs> Hi, baby. Isn't he the cutest baby? Like He's not so friendly like when you try and touch him. Like Blossom, you can do anything with. And he's not like so friendly that, oh, don't bite me. That you can like pet him and stuff. He doesn't like to be pet. But he's friendly because he thinks he knows that we're where the food comes from. <laughs> what are you doing? Be nice. He thinks I have food. Yes. Blossom's babies are the two best, ow, oh, babies. Not a horse in sight. Oh, there they are, way down there. I filled the, the, goose pool this morning. What a shame. It only lasts like an hour. So when we were out shopping today, I got another one of these buckets. I needed six and I only had five. So now I got another, which is perfect. And Sophie colored my letters that I want to put in here. So hopefully I can get them to fit. Oh. How are you handling the smell out here? I hate it. I hate it too. It's like it, you're gagging. Anyway, this. What? Hey, Ellie. Get Ellie, get back in here. 
I'll lift that end of that gate Sure. Up. Oh! A family that works together stays together, you guys. Hurry! I'm dying! <laughs> Hurry! Okay, wait, I have to put it down. Well, hello, babies. <laughs> Look at this property, though. The goats and the duck and the goose have eaten all of this down. How long do you guys think it will take before the novelty wears off of this farm? Because every day, even when I'm in a hurry, I still take time every single day to watch. I watch the duck and the goose swim every single morning when they come out of their stall. I watch the goats wrestling and playing every single day. I even take time to sit here and wrestle with our buck, even though he stinks. And he actually takes it seriously and tries to kill me. But he needs attention and he needs love. And it's just like so rewarding and so uplifting. And I just can't imagine a time when it stops happening, a time when I don't feel this great squeezing in my chest of love and happiness just watching the animals. Like there's Ellie thinking that she's a goose. <laughs> All right, so, so never come off, right? this will never come off now. I'm just going to put the wheel on. And he got a wheel. <laughs> the goose is like, stop that noise! <laughs> yeah, they don't like noise. It's the duck. It's the duck, duck complaining. We should have actually bought a new handle. I don't know why they put it on a handle. Okay, I'm go. All right, there we go. Brand new gate for Sophie. Sophie actually uses this round ring a couple, like, Sophie actually loves this round ring. She brings Willow down here quite a bit. I don't think the tire is actually touching the ground. Well, it, the ground isn't level. I just wanted to get it, like, extra easier to roll. Yeah, it's time. nice. Good job. We should leave it open for the goat to go in there and eat. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Did it break? No. Sophie's hanging out with Elizabeth and Gabby's doing homework. What are our weekends have come to? Friends and homework, you guys. Friends and homework. Anyways, I wanted to take a few minutes to tell you guys about the horse show that's coming up. We have one more horse show. We're so excited. We've done this horse show a lot of times. I was setting up my goat letters and that happened. <laughs> that does not make me happy. But anyways, there it is. I need to put two new pictures in there and I need to trim up those letters a little bit, but it makes it look a little bit cuter. It says goat about the horse show. So this is a big horse show. It's a big one in our area and they have it every year. We have had some amazing shows at this place. It's a derby, so that's what Gabby and Kate are really working towards, is like the derby. They're really like practicing derby stuff right now. And there's a costume contest. What are you doing in there? We're super excited to go about how it's gonna work because we only have one horse. And Sophie wants to do it too, but it's a derby, so it's jumping. So obviously Sophie's not gonna be able to do it and that's fine. It's time for Gabby to have a turn on her horse. So um, what we decided though, Sophie is gonna show Honey in the contest competition. So she's working on a really good costume right now. I'm excited about it. I want this year to be like us to finally have good costumes. I suck at anything creative. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Half of my family are super creative people. I can knit and I can crochet. Ellie, Ellie, get back here. But I can't like do anything creative. I can't recreate what my eye sees. So I can't like look at something and say, wow, I love that, I'm gonna make it. I do say, wow, I love that, I'm gonna make it. And then I'm like, I don't even know how to make this. Like, 
I don't have that gene and that's okay. Everybody's different. Everybody has the genes that they need to live the life they're meant to lead. I'm not gonna be a creative person. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. But I want our Halloween horse Halloween costumes to be the best ones that they've ever been. I want like, who knows how many more years we have with the girls riding and doing competitions like this. So I want it to be a really good one. So I have two choices. I can keep plugging away and trying to figure it out now while we have lots of time left or I can like get somebody to help me. So anyway, we're gonna be working on that. I'm super excited. Sophie's gonna show Honey so that uh, Honey gets some show miles without even like showing. She can go to the show and see what it's like to be uh, tied up at a trailer for the whole day and she can see what it's like to be a horse show kind of girl because Sophie I know definitely wants to do some shows with her when she gets a little older maybe as soon as next year and Gabby will get to show her boy and I am so excited like she was so <sighs> bent on Chino coming back into work for so long for her to be able to come full circle and see what an amazing boy she has in storm and then to think about like showing him again and it's her favorite show of the all the shows it's always been her favorite show it will be our last show of the season probably our last show before we get more horses it's like the end of our season and it was a fun season it was an exciting season it lasted a long time i love that i feel like we did a variety of different things this year instead of just like the same show series every single year i feel like we learned so much this year and broadened our horizons sophie's new coach doesn't go to horse shows so we've been doing a lot of them on our own and that makes me even more proud that we did that there was a time we would never ever do something like that hi baby Hello. Yes, I love you. And I'm proud of us, you guys. I'm proud of all the things that we did this year that I never thought that we would ever do. I never thought that we'd do a fair by ourselves, well, with our friends, but with no trainer. Doing Western stuff. I'm proud of Gabby for overcoming one of the biggest heartaches of her life. Her heart is far from healed, but she's moving forward. And that's all that matters. I'm proud of us for taking on new experiences like the goose and the goats. I'm excited to see what this last show is gonna bring in to our experiences. It'll be Storm's return to glory, you guys. And I can't wait to watch it. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way